Folks, in the age of political correctness, it's certainly frowned upon to tell dialect jokes, to uh, tell um, ethnic humor, that sort of thing. Uh, it's certainly frowned upon if, and indeed, people um, are offended, or at least they pretend to be offended. In any case, I mention this because I have a, a good friend named Bobby Chang, who's from China, and I'm going to imitate him a bit, and I, but I make fun of him, and I, I, I make fun of everybody, mostly I make fun of myself, in the spirit of love and laughter. So, without further ado, here is my tale of mystery and imagination in Hong Kong. I was um, in Hong Kong last April for a magic convention where I performed. I stayed at a bed and breakfast that advertised that they had a ping pong room. <laughs> I really like ping pong. I really enjoy it, but I'm not very good at it. When I arrived, I unpacked my luggage. I uh, washed up, and I walked down to the lobby where I met Bobby Chang, who owns the bed and breakfast. He was sipping tea and grinning. He was grinning because he's a trickster and a joker. I said to Bobby, where is your ping pong room? Pretending to barely understand English, he said, ping pong. What is ping pong? In an effort to explain to him, I, I kind of the pantomime of somebody playing ping pong. You know, going like this. You know, this like this looks a bit more serious. You know, like this, and this, and he then says, "Ah, you crazy dancer, me dance too." Yeah. Well, um, we um, weren't communicating, so I had another right here. I went to my pocket, and I. Um, brought out an envelope, and he's smiling because he thinks maybe some cash in there for him or something like that, and I, uh, ah, yes, I took out this and I said, ping pong ball, and he says, flat. Well, yes, said I. The ball's flat to make it more convenient for traveling. And besides, there's no point schlepping around all that excess air. Ho, 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 piece of paper. So I realized I had to resort to magic. So I, 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 I went and I transformed it into an actual ping pong ball. Bobby looked at me and said, Holy Buddha, baby, you magician. And I said, Holy Buddha, baby, you speak English. We started laughing, and he served me some tea, and we chatted for a long time. Then he said, uh, Mark, you are like a ping pong ball. I said, I mean, I'm a, like a ping pong ball with my head's full of air and I bounce around a lot. He said, No, no, no. I mean, you are a well rounded individual and Light-hearted. I said, well, thank you, Bobby, and you are too. But you know, Bobby, a lot of people still think that or say that I'm a bit of a flathead. And Bobby said, holy shiznit, that's freaking amazing. I said, thank you. Let's play ping pong. And we played ping pong for over two hours and have since become good friends. And the moral of the story is, hmm, we all start out in life as flatheads. But then as we gain perspective, we become three-dimensional. And it's even possible to become four and five-dimensional.